John, it's not like you to break the rules. I know, I know, but there's this girl and she's a junior and I don't know, I thought, I thought she was out of my league, you know? You skip class to impress a girl. Well, that's the thing. She just wanted to talk about what happened, like Edge, Powers, Grandpa. And? I mean, I didn't say anything. We need to talk. Yeah, we do. John, skip class. What? Go upstairs, I will deal with you later. We can talk about him after we talk about what I want to talk about. You told my dad to keep 7734? I did, I did. I should have talked to you first. Jonathan, upstairs. After everything we've been through. I know, I know. Why? Because it's the right thing to do. This isn't about Edge, is it? This is about you. Lois, I almost killed John Irons. But you didn't. Yeah, but what if I had? I mean, who would have been next? I swore to protect the people of this planet. So far, I've done a decent job. But what if I was to be tricked or corrupted? That will never happen. Yeah, except that it just did. The people of this world deserve the means to defend themselves from the one thing I can't save them from, me. If weapons like that exist, then the wrong people will get their hands on them. And then what do we do? Not enough to skip school. This one has to go get arrested. They're both acting out. We'll give them a punishment. I'll drive. Lois, about the other thing. What? I'm right, you're wrong. I understand why you would think that. Do you know what it was like when my dad gave John Henry Irons the go-ahead to fire the missile? I'm sorry. Then why risk it happening again? I told you because it's- Because it's the right, right thing to do. What does that even mean anymore, Clark? I lied to Chrissy today to protect our family. I broke my sacred role as a journalist. We both play fast and loose with journalistic integrity from time to time. When it comes to keeping your secret, not the stories we investigate. Yeah, but Edge is my brother. He's Kryptonian. This story is different. Why should I be okay with the military having the secret code to kill my husband? Given the countless psychos who want you dead, it just feels like a really bad idea. Lois, will you please no. just listen? There's nothing you can say that I want to hear. And now I'm angry and I feel sorry for yelling at you, but I also have to stay angry so that I can scare the hell out of Jordan. So why don't you just stay here and let's just both take a moment to think and then we can talk about this later after I bail our son out of jail. 